Hi, my name is Kim McLaughlin from Dynamic Digital Solutions. If you think about your business, there is probably a number of different touch points just to service a single client. This can be very costly when there is a team of people dealing with just one client. With multiple systems, there are multiple places in which information is stored and therefore multiple places to search for these things. Soho One, however, empowers us to bring all of this into one place. We use Zoho CRM as a foundation of everything. So when we do a search for a client, everything is filed in one place. The emails and text messages, on-site quotes and invoices, any email marketing campaigns, online bookings, any social media communications from Facebook Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, any Zoho desk tickets, any inventory orders or online e-commerce orders, any checklists or any project inf information that actually relates to the job. So let's have a look at what this might look like. So when I come into Zoho CRM, I can see my homepage and this will essentially summarize all of the key information. But I'm having a look for a particular client profile at the moment so I can search for their name in the system, hit enter, and then that will bring up any information that relates to this client in the system. So I can see the contact people, I can see the account name, I can see any jobs uh, that are in the system for them, any tasks, meetings, invoices, estimates, and expenses. So I normally just go straight to a job card because this will essentially tell me exactly what is happening with this job. So within the job card, I can see a little bit of a summary. I can also see any finance related information. So everything is basically filed in one place. If there are any emails or any SMS communications, I can see them in here as well. I would also be able to see any job checklist items and I'd be able to tick and untick items very quickly on here. What you will also see is that as these items are completed in the system, it will also give us um, a summary over here. So sometimes um, within here, if I want to go and enter a new estimate, and um, this is a great way because everything's kind of, you know, summarized in the system. I can then just choose exactly what it is um, that I want to create. I can hit save and send and we want to make use of the features. So in here I can actually send it off, but I'm just going to convert this estimate into a sales order. So it will tell me that I can't do this because first of all, I have to mark it as sent and accept it. So I'm just going to do this so that I can show you the process. So what will happen is that I can then convert this automatically into a sales order. And this is really a great way where I can use the system and not have to enter a whole bunch of the same information over and over again. So you'll see there that my sales order has now been created. And from there, I'd be able to convert it into an invoice and into a purchase order. So really, really quick way um, to actually create uh, different types of um, you know, records within the system um, under that job. And if I wanna go then back to that actual summary, I can hit the back button and then within here, and sometimes um, this will need to be refreshed. Um, so what will happen is that the job card will actually be updated with that actual summary information. So you'd now be able to see my um, sales order um, information over there. So that is then summarized uh, right over here um, within the system. So if you have any questions about Zoho or you're wanting to get started, please reach out and we can definitely assist you.